Just to prove that anything can be made out of wire, I have created a Leonardo da Vinci catapult. Now the way that most catapults work is they have a single spring or a counterweight that propels the arm that launches the projectile. In the case of Leonardo da Vinci's design, he had something that looked more like a leaf spring or a longbow for shooting arrows that per pulled on a ratchet, which is this right here in the a case of mine, I had to adapt it for the wire instead of wood and other metals. And anyways, the way that his works is that it's got these two separate arms that pull on one string, one common string, and then his had a ratchet wheel right here, but like I said, I had to adapt mine for wire, so it's only got a single catch. And then it comes up here and there's, goes to the arm. Now, the way it works is these two arms are pulling on this string at all times, which means when you have it pulled back, ready to fire, it's got quite a bit of tension on it. And then as it comes up, mine has maximum torque right there. His has an even torque. Mine's not quite as good as his is, but like I said, I adapted for wire. And then for mine, you just put a little catch right here. And then it's set and ready to fire. All you have to do is load it. Well, in the case of mine, it shoots marbles. So, now that it's all loaded, you have to aim it, of course. In my case, I'm just shooting off into the distance. And then this little loop-de-doo right here is the trigger. All you have to do is push that straight down, and away it goes. So, that's how it works. And you just reset it. It's one of the few contraptions I've built that can be operated one-handed. So that's nice. I can show it on camera. But just to give a basic idea as to where it's shooting. It's kind of shooting out there in the distance. And away it goes. I'd say it's shooting probably about 16 to 18 feet. Somewhere in there. So... It's got some pretty good range on it, especially for being just a little bit of wire. But that's what it looks like.